Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift, and welcome back to another one of my videos. This time, the video I'm doing is for an app called Remoter. There it is right there. You can download it to your smartphone, your tablet, iPad, uh, you know, Android tablet. Uh, there's one for Xbox One, but I couldn't get a controller or anything to work on that one. Um, but first what you need to do, you need to download the Remoter Streaming app to your uh, Windows PC. It might work on, they might have a version for Mac too, I don't know, but I'm not for sure they have one for, for Windows. So I've got mine installed, so I'm just going to show you here. See, so there's my, see, it's popping up as my desktop. And these are the games, uh, well some of these I added myself, but these are the games that um, it auto-adds. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to check one game because you have to go through and configure the, the damn buttons for everything. And uh, yeah, I, I don't feel like sitting there uh, doing everything or, you know, configuring each button individually for my controller. So... So first what we're going to do is we're going to try it using my uh, cell phone data, which is Sprint, which is usually pretty decent here in Las Vegas. I use it all the time to, to watch movies and uh, listen to uh, music on my uh, Plex server when I'm not home. Okay, so we log into the Remoter app. Now, Remoter is free, which is cool. Um, if you pay, for, if you want, like you said, it's, like you can see in the corner, it says GoPro you can pay $2.99 a month and that's the ad free version okay so we're gonna go to Sonic Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed hey, let me... oh shit that's not gonna work well whatever maybe here we try moving this here yeah see, see how shitty it runs on the Wi-Fi or not the Wi-Fi the cell data when you're streaming so I just started it like this just to give you an idea of how it runs on mobile data. Well, like I said, this is Sprint in Las Vegas, so it runs much better on uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, so you can, there's no way you're going to play it like that. So just to give you an idea here. So now we're going, going to close remote, <clears throat> and then we're going to turn on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so you get the Wi-Fi on, then we're going to oh, reopen Remoter. And you'll notice a difference, because right from this screen, see it pops up with your desktop right away. Select Desktop, All-Star Racing. Sega. See, it's got the little stupid ad here. And as you can see there, I set up the, um, the touch controls. I'm not a fan of touch controls. Don't think I'm a fucking weirdo that plays this with touch controls because I don't. Um, I wouldn't, like on a regular basis. I, I basically, let me turn this down. So this is streaming from, from my uh, Windows PC. And let me turn this down a little bit. Just want to give you an idea of how it plays. We'll check this, and then we'll check uh, like uh, I guess uh, Jet Grind Radio because those games didn't require a lot of uh, well that that's the other game that didn't require a lot of customization. So one second here we go to career. Go to Rio Hazuki, yeah. The cooler guy drives an arcade cabinet in a race. Okay, so. Standard. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Um, hang on. That's right. Okay. I'm going to show you that it works. I mean, I know I'm going to suck ass because... Oh, there we go. 
Cause touchscreen controls are whack as fuck, but... Let's see. Do something here. Yeah. Yeah, see, I would have to... I was trying to use my controller for my... <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, sitting at your house, you can, in theory, you know, damn, this touch, touch screen and then trying to see the screen around the camera sucks. But, I mean, that gives you an idea. I mean, look, it, it's definitely playable. You would just have to sit and configure your Xbox One controller. But, yeah, so... One game that I, here we'll go to um here we'll uh, close that real quick. One game I did find, well at least it did it yesterday when I tried it with my um PS4 controller connected via Bluetooth to my phone. Jet grind radio, well jet set radio. The controls were actually pre-mapped to the controller, so I, I didn't have to do anything, so that was pretty cool. So here, we'll just try. We'll set this on these pants here. Hang on. There. Shit, that's not... Well, you know what? Okay, so... There we go. This is ghetto style right here. Here we go. Now, let's yeah, so do gamepad, and then we apply. Boom. Boom. Okay. I'll just zoom in a little here. Okay, see, so this is one of Sega's favorite games. I wish they would remaster Jet Set Radio Future, put that on the Xbox One, but it's a bummer they don't. Jet Set Radio! You know, we're just gonna try the uh, just the tutorial. I, I beat this on Dreamcast. This game is awesome. Somewhere in Asia, there's a city that cannot be found in any map called Tokyo. -Tokyo. Okay. Hey you! See that? See, now you can sense a little bit of a delay, of course. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but... You know, it's not bad. I mean, for playing a game like this, like, if you, like uh, I downloaded it because I was like, man, I could uh, you know, lay in my bed and play this shit on my phone. Because you can get the little attachment where you can uh, put a plastic mount on your, on your Xbox controller. And it clips on there, and then it holds your phone. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do that. That was going to be my original plan when I first checked it out, but... So, so that's, so that's um, Jet Set Radio Future, one of uh, Sega's best games. I, I fucking love this game. It's been a while since I played it. But. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna back out of this. We're gonna hit the button, hit disconnect, disconnect. We'll try a newer game real quick, and then I'll be done with my video. So I'm just gonna go streaming. Uh. We'll try Apex Legends. Who knows? Maybe maybe they're the controllers uh, you know configured for Apex Legends. We'll see. One game I haven't tried, but I mean, it's a cool thing like to mess around with. Oh, just like there's an there's an update. That's bullshit. All right. Yeah. See. So if you do edit, uh, hmm. Eh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it um, what it automatically puts the uh, the controls at. So it's a cool little app. I mean, 
I mean, Microsoft's making their their uh, what X Cloud stream and is coming what near, I think before the end of the year. So I mean, this is something cool to mess around with. Said so if you like playing games in bed like from your house, like I wouldn't use it for mobile data. That shit sucks, but Wi-Fi works pretty good in my house. Said so you could lay in bed and play Grand Theft Auto Five. Okay, so now it says it's ready to play, so we're gonna oops, I'm gonna disconnect, disconnect, and then come on. Hit the desktop, hit the desktop, and then uh Apex Legends. Yeah, there it goes, okay. Edit, no, no, okay. Now I've got my Xbox One controller here, let's see. Okay, so that seems to work so far. some of the fucking buttons man all right well we won't be playing that either yeah I gotta that's one you have to configure that one also that's shitty so the only annoying thing about the app is you know the ads but I mean it's free what do you expect um we'll try cuphead I'm gonna try that one that one might actually uh you know have the the button's configured, you never know. We'll see. Well, Cuphead and his pal Bug Man, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price. Oh, no. Paid the price. Shit, yeah. Now, all these damn games, you gotta. So, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, so you just have to go through and configure the buttons. It's fuck, man. I really didn't feel like doing that. But, I mean, like I said, it's a neat little app. I mean, let's try one more. We'll try... Actually, let's see. Battlefield. No, no, no. We'll do... We'll try Grand Theft Auto. Hmm. Maybe we won't be trying Grand Theft Auto 5, it's having an issue. Now just keep in mind that this streaming, of course, I mean, it, you know, streaming like this, of course, depends on the the uh, the power of, of the desktop computer you're streaming from. So, you know, if you've got a shitty computer, of course, your streaming uh, isn't going to be satisfactory. Like mine, mine has been so far. Okay, yeah, it's not going to... Yeah, Grand Theft Auto is not going to work, so that's a bummer. But anyway, that is the Remoter uh, streaming app. And it's weird because other people got Grand Theft Auto 5 to work. I actually saw a video online. But anyway, that's the Remoter game streaming app. Uh, like I said, it's free. You can get it from get.remoterapp.com. Absolutely free. It just has bullshit ads, but, you know, they're not too intrusive. So, yeah, that's the... I um, mean, if you're into game streaming to, like, a tablet or... You know, and you have the patience to sit there and set up the touchscreen controls or the uh, controller, uh, you know, the button inputs, then hey, you know, this this might be the app for you. I'd definitely recommend checking it out. It's a pretty neat little app, you know. Might as well check it out while we wait for uh, Microsoft's X Cloud streaming to, to get here before the end of the year. So, uh, this is Atomic Swift. And uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for likes, comments, subscribe. I've been getting a lot of comments lately. I appreciate it all. And uh, as always, bye for now.